Good morning. And welcome to Winnipeg. Now, are we going to get done step 14 today? I think we will. Uh, as far as I can tell, we've got everything made. And uh, <clears throat> I've been wondering about the catapult, so, and, and maybe, and, and the crane here, you know, like, uh, is it actually a good idea to be gluing those down in place right now? Or should I be leaving them to the end? I don't know. I, I think that, I think that if I was to glue them down and then protect everything with a couple of hoops and uh, and when we flip the page and start working on on step 14 and we start working on the main piece of super superstructure that goes there like the, the bulkhead and so on that large piece that I was fooling around with LEDs oh by the way I, I didn't mess around with the LEDs last night in fact I didn't do anything last night so there's not going to be any rollback okay <clears throat> but uh, I was I was thinking that possibly when I'm working on step 15 we don't have to mount that piece on the ship I'm thinking that that I'm just going to check and make sure but I don't think it has to be on the ship to be assembled if you remember when we did the Bismarck we actually had uh, three uh, uh, <laughs> pieces of superstructure that we put on that we built and put on afterwards so uh, it, it makes a lot more sense to me if we can build, you know, the smaller module and, and work on it just right here and, and don't have this big cumbersome uh, hull sitting on the ship with stuff sticking up that could easily be snapped off when I reach across. And I'm doing that a lot lately. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I, anyway, we didn't have a rollback. We don't have a rollback. I did not do an 8K special. Now, now, speaking of uh, the specials, uh, I've been having a problem with my camera. I, d I don't think it's the camera. I think it's the memory card. And uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll just describe the problem <clears throat> problem to you later. For those of you who are camera buffs, you might be interested. Um, the camera's working fine, but I think the memory cards are... Well, I had a, somebody came over for coffee on Sunday, and somebody's really in the know in this kind of stuff. And he was saying that the, these these things, they slowly wear out. And I'm beginning to believe that uh, possibly memory cards do slowly degenerate. Uh, however, uh, on um, Monday Monday afternoon, uh, actually it was Monday evening, I ordered a, a, a card from Nikon Canada. And it's here in Winnipeg already. Now Nikon Canada is in uh, Mississauga or Toronto. In fact, in fact, it's only about it's less than 10 kilometers from where 6 Airbrush Tony lives. <laughs> he he could have he could have driven over there and uh, picked it up for me and and the Toronto airport's just a, another less than 10 kilometers from there and he could have, you know, hopped on a plane and flown it over and I could have had it even faster. But uh, I'm <laughs> Uh, Two-day service from uh, from Toronto to Winnipeg. That's that's not too bad. So uh, it'll probably be here this afternoon. In which case, I'll install it. If uh, if it works out, I'll. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm f having a hard time thinking of something to say. We should be talking about the model here. So let's let's uh, recompose here and. Uh, uh, yeah finish up 14 I mean it's there's not that much to do 14 we have, we have 14 more of these little guns to put on and they'll go fast I'll just do one or two on camera and then I'll just plop the rest down and uh, oh these things on the side here uh, they there's a they have to go on on the sides right here I don't know if you can see it but there's a spot where they plug in well that shouldn't be too hard I was thinking they might have a tendency to fall off, but no, I don't think so. It looks to me like they're going to stick in there pretty good. Uh, these uh, 40 millimeter guns, they, they go right here. Uh, okay, let's let's recompose. Okay, I was just uh, rearranging everything here, and uh, and I looked up at my screen, and I noticed that we might be getting a bit of a sunrise here. Um, 
yeah, the, this this tree right here is actually this one right here. So uh, this is near as I could tell. It's about where the sun is going to come up if if it doesn't cloud over. But it it might be really nice. And once again, if it is, I'll do something with it. Maybe I'll tack it at the end of today's episode. Uh, we'll see how it goes. No promises. All right, now I can always twist these things into the right position after I get them in place. I want to be able to grab onto them with the tweezer in such a way that I can squeeze hard and have a little bit of downward force. Now, is this going to fit properly or is we going to have a bit of a problem here? Okay, let's uh, first of all start softening up our, our pin. Okay, now don't drop it. Now very, very carefully here so it doesn't go all over the deck. Okay, now I know this isn't, isn't pointed the right way. This isn't like a CA glue that's going to cure on me right away. Just swing it around, get the barrel pointed over the edge of the splinter rail. Okay, I think if I have it at an angle like that, I might have put on just a little bit too much. You notice how it's sort of oozing out onto the deck, but I, you, you will notice later on if we take the time to, you know, to look at it, that will have evaporated and shrunk and you're not going to hardly notice it at all. Right now it's looks terrible, doesn't it? Okay, there's another one goes here, and there's two more go on the other side over here. I'm just going to quickly do them off camera. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put the macro lens on, and we'll, we'll do uh, one over here. Okay, I'm using my steady wrist because reaching over like this is kind of kind of awkward. Okay, let's try not to smear it all over the place like I did the other one. Just try and make sure it's seated. Okay, when that when that evaporates, I think it's going to be a much better job. Now, if I can do the remaining 12 that way, I'll be happy. We'll see you when they're done. Now our sunrise that we had a few minutes ago was kind of nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I hope you do too. I've sped it up 60 times here. Okay, they are all on. They're so small you can hardly see them once you get them on the deck, but they're all there, all 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, let's move back very carefully. And get some more stuff down. Oh, a few minutes ago when I was uh, editing out the last few scenes there and doing the uh, sunrise thing, um, I checked the tracking for our package and it's out for delivery. So there's a good chance it'll be here before the end of today's episode. And if it is, I'll show it to you. Okay, these little parts here. I think they are some sort of a swing out boom and you will notice that oh my goodness I I just realized that what I have done is I have painted this one the wrong side I, I painted it on the pin side now how did I manage that okay did I do the same on the other one no the other one I got right 
get it off of here. Okay, yeah, now the other one I've got right, I've got, yeah, this, this side is, is bare, and this side is painted, and, and these little brackets, according to the manual, go down, and it should fit in just like this. Now, I don't think I want to be using an excessive amount of glue and having it run all over our number 19 gray. Uh, maybe maybe what I'll, I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the Revell Contacta on each one of these pins and then just sort of carefully poke it in. I don't think I... No, it, 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 would, it wants to sort of spring out. It's supposed to be, you might say, proud of the side of the deck. So, well, uh, now it wasn't that stupid. How could have I managed to do that? Paint this on the wrong side. That means now I'm going to have to, uh, well, I think what I'll do is after I get it mounted on, on the ship, I'll, uh, I'll just touch it up with the number uh, 66. Okay. Okay, now. What is going to be the best way to go here? If I put it on the peg, and then as I'm trying to get it into the hole, I accidentally go like this, you know what's going to happen. So I think I'm going to just try and put a very small amount. Well, that was more than I wanted. But at least it's not running down. Okay, now I'll steady myself here. I think that's going to dry okay. Now, I'll do the other side later, because I'm going to have to turn the ship around to do the other side. Okay, that, that should only take about, I'm guessing, 10 minutes, and it should be fairly strong. Okay, moving back now, in our manual anyway, the next thing as we move back is the catapults. And they go here and here. And uh, now I'm going to want to be careful how I grab these things because we do have some delicate railing that we worked very hard on to, to get just right. Let's try and get this off of this masking tape here. All right. Maybe I should be picking these up with something different other than my fingers. Now... Where can I grab onto these things? Okay. Yeah, they're going to fit in those, those holes really well. You know, being as... Being as they, they fit nicely without glue, I think what I'm going to do is leave them. So if I... Because I think we are going to be putting an airplane aircraft on here. Now... It could be that when we get the ship mounted in the case, we might want one of these sort of angled off in one direction or the other so that it would look like it was about to, you know, launch the aircraft. Um, well, this is going to go really fast. Unless I get really exuberant here and accidentally break something and then have to spend the rest of the afternoon... This one's not going down quite as good. I don't mind if it's a tight fit because I can see that a person should quite easily be able to swing it around. You know what I mean? I think that kind of looks nice. But, but we'll wait. You know, we'll, we'll just leave it right, right where it is for the time being. Okay, now moving back, we've got the two, two 45 millimeter guns, and then the crane, and that's it. Oh, no, I forgot. I gotta do this. 
Now here again, we want to be careful where we grab these. We've got delicate railing to contend with. Well, eyeballing that pin, it looks way bigger than that hole. You know what, I'm going to enlarge that hole. And it doesn't matter if it's off half of a millimeter one way or the other because it's too big, but it's going to save me having to put excess pressure down. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to enlarge that, those holes. Be right back. Now, I very seldom get to use this thing. But I think it's going to be just right for, for this. Yeah, yeah it is. I don't want to go too far and right out the other side, uh, bottom of the ship, do we? We just want to enlarge it just a little bit here. Get rid of the excess paint and... Yeah, I can, I can see by looking at it, it's bigger. Yeah, that'll be okay. Okay, I'm just going to glue those in place. Okay, I was going to, uh, you might say, ream out our hole here for the crane, and then I, well, immediately notice, hey, that's a square hole. So there's only one way the crane can, well, no, I guess that's not true. There's four ways the crane could go in. Um, and I do not recall, very carefully here now, because we got some, very, very delicate photo etch there. Remember that little hook? I remember being so careful with that. Okay, now, yeah, we got a square peg there. So we're not trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. And, uh, I'm trying to do this on camera. We got more delicate photo etch going on right here. Now, this may not want to drop in there. Yes, it, I think I think it is. I think if I use extra thin and soften everything, I'll be able to get it in. Maybe maybe for that I'll stick on the macro lens. It almost wants to go. I was going to let go of it, but it'd be just my luck it would fall forward and bend our little hook. So let's just carefully put that down somewhere. Very carefully, Ron, very carefully. That's not careful. There, put it like that. All right, um, let's recompose here and I'll put the macro lens on. Okay, you can see our square hole back here. We'll be dealing with that in a moment, but when I was readjusting, I noticed that we missed the fire control directors for these 40 millimeter guns. And, uh, I think we'll try and have them aiming in the same direction as the guns are. And that's about it. So how does that look here? I think it could maybe go a little bit this way. Whoops. There. I think that's all right. Now we got the one on the other side, oh, that's a little bit too much. Knock a little bit off of the bristles there. Okay, I think if I hold it like this, it's already aimed about the right way. Just sort of work it down. Maybe it could go just a little bit more to the right here. Too much. 
See, I want it aimed out the same direction as the barrels. Yeah, how does that look? Okay, check it in a couple of minutes. I only have about maybe five minutes to mess around with this extra thin on a contact like that because it'll it'll get brittle. Okay, uh, now I think we can put this on. Oh, that snap you heard that was my spotlight heating up i didn't uh, i didn't break anything well um i think that's the way it's going to be um i don't know if i can work it down anymore or not i think that's where the way it's supposed to be i don't think that gray platform is supposed to be down all the way. I think it's supposed to be a little bit up in the air like that. You know, to represent part of the part that uh, swivels on the uh, kingpin. Okay. Um, except for uh, that, th this, uh, this piece right here, which is, uh, you know, that I have to paint. Uh, that That is it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn our, our ship around and... Uh, I, I do believe we've got it, except for this. Okay, a moment ago, I turned the ship around. And when I was turning it around, it caught my eye that I had accidentally broken the anchor off. And I thought, I guess I must have done that when I was upending the ship on its nose. And then, uh, I'll move in a little closer here. Then I'm, I'm looking here, and I can see there is no sign that I glued anything in there. Now, I thought I'd, <laughs> uh, I think it was yesterday or day before, I was noticing that I had what I thought was a third anchor. And I was thinking, well, I guess I guess this is supposed to go in, in the bow. Oh, sure, why not drop it while you're at it? Okay, this is supposed to go in the bow. Because there, there is an opening in the bow that one could go in. Uh, but I guess I, I never did it. And the thing of it is, one, one of the, oh, drop it again. I'll just leave it there. Anyway, one of the viewers had, I think, commented, did you put the other anchor in? And I commented back, yes, I did. I really thought I'd put both anchors on. You know, this is scary, folks. Okay, change in plans. Our little anchor is going to have to wait. Now that is really good service. It was less than 48 hours ago that I ordered it from uh, Nikon Canada. And here it is in Winnipeg. Already. Unless they sent me the wrong thing.
Okay. Well, I sure hope this works. Um, I don't know if I have time to recompose here and do another video, or should this be... Uh, what do we got here? It's almost noon. I guess we could open it up here. Well, this is, uh, I got a feeling that by weight, this is more expensive than gold by weight. Um, that should, that should solve my problem. I guess I'd better register this so that I'm sure to have my one year warranty in case I have a problem with this one. Um, you know, I think maybe if I'm smart, what I'm going to do is take my time with this. It's still a little bit cold. I think it was around minus 20 this morning when I first got up, but then seeing on my thermometer now, it's it's actually warmed up to minus 11. I thought it was colder than that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just edit out the footage that I've got up to up to this point, and I'm gonna cut today's episode off. And we guess we'll we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody.